What's up guys? Peace be with you today. I hope that everything's going good for you. So I just have a small little message. I just, something that God put in my heart. Um, lately, there's a lot of broken people. There's a lot of people seeking answers. There's a lot of people out there trying to find out what the real truth is. But let me tell you what the real truth is. It's Jesus. My pastor said, there are celebrities that are multi-millionaires. There are billionaires out there. Suicide. And if money's not everything, then what is it? You got the homegirls on lock or what? You got you, you got that bud to keep you nice and happy? Well, guess what? You always come down. But with my Lord and Savior, you always stay up. You're always feeling happy. You're always feeling like you can do it. You're always feeling like you can make it. That's the love of God, people. We need more doers of the word out there. We need brothers that are willing to take up arms. I had a homie MK that said, you know what? I was a soldier at war in the middle of Afghanistan or Iraq. Um, and you know what? I was willing to die for the homies. Left and right, my fellow soldiers. I was willing to die in the hood for my homies. Left and right. So I need some homies that are willing to die out in the streets preaching the word. That's hard. That is hard. But what is it to gain the world and lose your soul? Fear is not something that comes from God. It is not. Love, peace, strength, everything. You're struggling with self-worth. You're struggling with quitting that drink, smoking, whatever it is. Let me tell you that you can do it. Let me tell you that it's possible though. But it's not easy though. It's not easy. We need more people that are willing to take up the sword of the spirit. So to finish it off, learn how to wield that sword of the spirit. Put on that armor. You know what? Less complaining and more fighting. That hits home for me, for you. But if I have to be that brother, I have to be that brother, right? Like that parent that's not like, hey, Timmy, don't do that, Timmy, right? that parent's gonna be like, hey Timmy, let me tell you a little something about what you're doing and how it's gonna affect you. Not just how you're gonna grow up, but the consequences, right? We need to be a brotherhood that is not just tight when we go to church, but outside of church. And I'm not saying you gotta blow me up and wanna hang out all the time and come to my house and crash in the couch. What I'm saying is if you see me at Walmart, and I'm walking down that liquor aisle contemplating whether I want a beer or not, you're gonna be like, yo, Paul, what are you doing, bro? You're in the wrong aisle. Or if you see me out in the street doing whatever I'm doing, you'll be like, yo, Paul, you're a man of God, homie. Stay strong. What can I do for you? A lot of people don't want to offer a hand. Well, guess what? Call on me. Call on me. Call on our pastor, our spiritual father, right? That's what the word says. He's there to be bugged and woken up in the middle of the night. Sorry, pastor. But let me tell you what, he's doing a mighty fine job. Praise the Lord. So empty yourself out and pour more of him. Right? John 3.13 May he increase in my, and I decrease. Right? Galatians 2.20 Live it. For it is I who is crucified with Christ. It is no longer I that live but he that lives in me. Pick up that cross. Mature a little bit. Grow a little bit. Because that milk, bro, is only going to feed you so much until you stun your growth. Chew on that meat. Kick it with the big dogs. And see what you're missing. Because God wants to bless you. He wants to be there for you. He wants to provide for you. He wants to see you grow. Once again, we got to be homies that are willing to do whatever we got to do for each other. Whatever. As long as it pleases God.
drop a comment if you want, and I'll pray for you, dude. If you need prayer, if not, it don't even matter. I want to pray for anybody and everybody who sees this video. I'm looking for comments. So in the name of Jesus, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, fight, fight. God bless you, brother.